Hey YouTubers and Unicorns, what I'm just going to do here is a very short video on how to manually light or start your pellet heater if the igniter is not working. So igniters usually last a couple of years, you know, it just sort of depends, but they do need to be replaced. So eventually you will need to replace the igniter and this will show you that you can actually start the heater manually to give you sort of you know heat while you get your igniter replaced or get someone to service it. So all you need to do is basically grab your, your burn pot and get a handful of pellets out of your hopper. Just pop them in here. So you're just putting a handful in your hopper, oh, sorry in your burn pot. And all you're going to do is you just want to get the fire started. So um, the exhaust fan will get a fire in burning and keep it burning once it's started, but the hardest part is actually getting it started. So obviously you're going to need something to get the pellets lighted, you know, lit. So have a little blowtorch. It also kind of helps if you get some liquid or gel fire started. And just put that on top of the pellets, squirt a bit in, and then give it a little bit of a stir around. Just to mix it up. And basically, want to get the fire big enough or burning strong enough that you shut the door and then switch on switch on the pellet heater and the exhaust fan keeps it going so we'll see how we go it might help if I've got a lid on that properly I'm just going to try to get it Started and you've, you've got to get it so it's burning and established, otherwise the exhaust will just blow it out. Let that burn for a bit, just to make sure it's sort of established, or whatever you want to call it, that it's going. Now I'm just going to see how we go. That does seem to be burning enough for me. I'm just going to switch on the pellet here. Now you can't really see it, but there is like a... I think you can just see the flame, the ash and that sort of kind of... There is a little fire burning in the bottom. I think I've got enough, I'll just let it run and we'll see if we can see it this way. Yep, so just down there you can see it. And basically I've just connected the igniter on this so that's not gonna, you know, that won't start the fire but We'll let this burn and we'll see, I'll fast forward it and we'll see how we go.
So it's just started feeding the pellets in now. You can see the fire still going there. And we'll let it run for a bit. And I'm not going to bore you with the rest, but as you can see, that's burning now. It's still in the ignition phase, but clearly that's an established fire. And, you know, that's what you can do if your igniter, for whatever reason, has died on you. You just need to get the fire started, some pellets, handful of pellets in the burn pot, and a blowtorch. If you can't get the fire established, you can use some, you know, the fire starter gel. But you definitely don't need to use that as long as you've got the fire established. So if you found that video useful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And remember that we do have a Facebook group, uh, Tassie Pellet Heater Owners, if you'd like to learn more about the wonderful things of pellet heaters. Right, thanks for watching. Till next time.